<laughs> Hi. <laughs> I've been excited about this all season long. I'm here at Pixar's campus just outside of San Francisco to get a rare look at the studio, which has dominated the animation category at the Oscars for the last couple of years. This year, of course, they've got Toy Story 3. We're gonna talk to some of the filmmakers about what it was like to work on the series that put digital animation on the map. Hello, what's your name again? Melena. Melena, Bobby, yeah, nice, nice to meet you. you. Pixar is about as cool a place to work as anyone can imagine, and they don't let too many people in behind the scenes. We do every single thing here on this campus. Uh, every single thing was designed, modeled, built, shot. Uh, like any other film, only we do ours virtually, but we use the exact same tools just within the computer. So we do all the location scouting. Um, we have the actors come, act. And someday, if we're lucky, Andy may have kids of his own. In live action, if you want to film in a grocery store, you, know, you go out and find the right location and you film in a grocery store. In our world, we have to design that grocery store. and We have to design every last item in the grocery store and build it and create it so that it can be in the movie. Oh. Where's my nose? Here. We can really control everything from like a little bit of a, a slouch to the shoulders to, to how the lips might part at a certain spot. Our job is to try to create a, co a cohesive performance. We, we will go through and shape for every frame and every syllable. His upper chest, his torso, his body, his left arm, his right arm, and these are the small ones. Uh, there's eyebrows, there's mouth, actually these are all his mouth from the subtleness of you know how the lip might pull up in the middle. So we'll cast animators um, according to their sensibilities, just like actors. Uh, some are really good at you know, comedy or some are really good at like sensitive moments or, or things that are a little quieter or more dramatic. No, it's my fault for leaving you guys. From now on, we stick together. But Andy's leaving for college. College? Why die the mailman? We, we had so many emotions money. when we were telling the story. It was so personal to us. 18 years ago, I mean, everybody kind of knew that if Toy Story worked out, it would launch this industry. There would be no Pixar without Buzz and Woody. You know, when I started the company, there was probably 50 people in the company. Um, and now there are 1,200 people. Now there's at least 1,200 people, yeah. This was the building that A Bug's Life built and Steve Jobs personally oversaw the design and the construction of it. It seems to me to be a perfect fusion of kind of the Hollywood mindset, but the Silicon Valley mindset as well. Steve designed it so that there would be a lot of forced collisions of people. He always felt that the best meetings were meetings that happened spontaneously in the hallway. It's easy for people to look and go, man, this place looks like it's so much fun. You have all this stuff that's, how are you getting work done? Um, and we don't have the problem of the parent coming in and going, you need to do your homework. We have the problem of the parent coming in and going, You've been studying a lot. I think you need to go have a social life. <laughs> Why don't you just go out? Right? You know, making these movies is very difficult. And so uh, we also have fun. So we heard there's something special about this office. Now this is a speakeasy. Let's see who's been here. What's up, Michael, Sarah? All the yeah, Turn here's down. Tom. Uh, Owen Wilson. When uh, they come here to record, we have them sign the wall and made it. So this is where we record our actors. Uh, for animation, you need a lot of energy because you need to inspire the animators to do all kinds of interesting things. I know! I know what to do! At last, I'm gonna get played with! <laughs> You know, there's a scene at the end of the movie where all the toys are kind of running and they're having to push their way through trash, and I wanted the animators to be thinking about what that would be like physically at the scale of the toys. We set one up here in the atrium of Pixar, in this inflatable hallway, and I had all my animators go into it and see what it was like to actually run through all this junk. A lot of people think maybe we push a button on the computer and a movie pops out. We believe very strongly in research.
there's three buttons. You're going to want to use the left button, okay? So go ahead and grab the mouse. We do use computers to make the movies, obviously, but we also do a lot of traditional artwork, tons and tons of it, lots of hand-drawn, beautiful drawings, paintings, costuming and colors and all, all these decisions. It's been a big honor, especially this year with Toy Story 3, that, um, that we've been talked about uh, and placed alongside a lot of great live-action films. Um, it, it only seems right to us because we feel like we've been doing that all along.